Hi, today I'm going to talk about Indeba Active in the treatment of postpartum, so just after you've had a baby. So what does the Indeba technology do? How do we use it? Well, Indeba technology delivers an electric current at a radio frequency of 448 kilohertz. It has two effects on the body. One is subthermal, and this is unique to Indeba, um, which has an impact on the actual cells, so we can proliferate cells for healing. And the other effect we have is thermal, and that can increase blood supply, increasing nutrients and oxygen to that injury, and also accelerates our metabolic processes. So how do we apply it? Well, we have two different types of electrodes. One is the capacitive electrode, which has a coating on it. Um, and this means that heat is generated directly underneath the capacitive head because we've already got resistance provided by that coating. So more superficial. Then we have our resistive electrode. This is um, a completely bare electrode, which means that the resistance is provided by um, the cells in the body. So the bone tissue, the muscle tissue, the ligament. And as the electric current passes through or tries to pass through those, we get an increase in heat in those areas. So much, much deeper treatment, and that's down to the Joule effect. So its um, anagram would be uh, TECA, so transfer, electrive, capacitive, resistive. So we also have, in terms of the resistive electrode, when you are wanting to do treatments in terms of um, intercavitary, we have a resistive electrode that you can use for that. So what can we treat postpartum? Um, we can start to apply Indeba in the acute phases, so immediately um, in the days after. So anything like uh, the episiotomy, the cesarean section scarring, um, any pain that you get during se the sexual relationships postpartum as well, and also incontinence treatments. So if you've had an episiotomy after having a baby, you'll know that it's really quite painful. You struggle to sit down for a number of weeks afterwards as well. So in Deba, you can apply it in the acute phase or the subacute phase or even the chronic stages. It can still have an, a, an effect. So we can decrease pain. We can also treat any of possible adhesions of the scar tissue, so it makes sure that that scar is still really mobile. Um, and that's due to the stimulation of elastin and collagen that when, when we're applying in Deba. It also oxygenates the perineal musculature, so again, we get... Um, more nutrients to the area, so when we're looking at recovery. And it relaxes the possible reflex contractures of the pelvic floor musculature. So again, it decreases pain. It's a, a thermal, if that thermal effect reduces the pain in the area and relaxes the muscles. After a cesarean section, so you can have quite a big scar. Um, and what we want to do is accelerate the healing of that scar, so the regenerative process that we, that's going on. So we want to proliferate the cells, especially skin cells in that area, but of course the cesarean section goes much deeper and has an impact on the, the muscles of the pelvic floor. So when we apply Indeba, we can get um, a beneficial effect all the way through to the uterus. It also improves vascularization and oxygenation in the area, so similar as um, before. It improves that collagen synthesis, so the binding and that scar formation, but we get more skin cells rather than scar tissue. And it reduces the pain and inflammation, that horrible uncomfortableness that you get after having a cesarean section.